all over the world is developing artificial intelligence. Some are relatively successful, but some are really stupid or childish. The stupid artificial intelligence projects usually exist in uh, the countries where there is no freedom of speech. Why can't these countries develop artificial intelligence such as Russia, Iran, North Korea, or some other notorious countries? Today, I will share a few of my thoughts. Artificial intelligence is not inherent. Its generated results depend entirely on learning. The learning process of artificial intelligence is similar to that of human, requiring the study of a wide range of information and uh, perspectives to produce high quality results. Just as a child needs to grow in a diverse environment, learning various knowledge and perspectives to better understand the world. Even those exclusive theory systems also require diversity. Uh, the inventor of uh, communism, Karl Marx, he had to delve into the theories of uh, capitalism and uh, fully inform the current state of capitalist society. Then he can criticize capitalism and propose a more advanced theory that he believed was superior. In uh, countries where Marx's thoughts are regarded as the highest doctrine, such as the Soviet Union and uh, North Korea, people in these countries can only study Marx's thoughts due to national restrictions. As a result, they cannot truly understand capitalism. They criticize something they don't understand, but they also cannot comprehend Marx. So they do not understand everything. Such people are ignorant of any political theories turning them into uh, political ideals. In countries with uh, restricted freedom of speech and controlled information flow, the information that artificial intelligence learns is biased, and it can be argued that such artificial intelligence is essentially idiotic. Obviously, artificial intelligence needs to access various uh, information in an open environment to better analyze and uh, solve problems. Unfortunately, in countries where freedom of speech is restricted, information is heavily censored and artificial intelligence may only be exposed to some official, officially approved uh, information. Uh, AI's knowledge sources are narrow and its understanding of the world is distorted, much like many young people in these countries. They can only access governmentally sanctioned information from an early age which makes their narrow-minded understanding of the world, not only in politics, uh, society, or economics, but also in science, art, and uh, engineering. In countries where information is highly controlled, the information that artificial intelligence can access is very limited. It is hard to access various perspectives and research results, making it difficult for AI to analyze and understand the world comprehensively. In such an environment, artificial intelligence may exhibit certain political views or ideologies. This affects the accuracy of its judgment of social conditions. Due to a lack of diversity, artificial intelligence cannot provide effective services. Now let's focus on censorship. Countries' lack of freedom of speech are filled with information censorship. People can only see specific news, browse a particular websites, and uh, read designated books. Uncensored artificial intelligence is inaccessible in these countries. The rulers of these countries are hoping that engineers can uh, develop their own AI that operates uh, entirely within the closed environment of these countries. All input and output information will be censored. How can artificial intelligence be censored? I think there are usually three ways. Censoring the input information, censoring the algorithmic logic, and censoring the output results. I have used a Chinese AI drawing product. It sets many keywords and image filters. If a forbidden keyword appears in the input prompt, it cannot pass the censorship. The, the, this AI drawing capability of this product is very poor. Of course, it cannot compare to a mid-journey. The first type of censorship, censoring the input information, leads to incomplete information for AI learning 
As we already know, artificial intelligence requires a vast amount of data and information for learning and training. If uh, the input information is limited, the learning effect of artificial intelligence will be poor. The second type of censorship is uh, censoring the algorithmic logic. This type of censorship sets uh, some rules in algorithm to affect AI's focus on specific information and uh, change the weight of analyzed information, thereby forcing it to produce the results desired by the sensors. Censorship will cause AI to lose the ability to analyze objectively. This leads to a lack of improvement in AI's ability and leads to biased results. Non-objective and inaccurate results have no value. It is hard to imagine where those sensors themselves need to obtain more accurate results, whether they would prefer to use their own country's AI or a standard AI used in the civilized world, such as ChatGPT. <laughs> Censoring generated results firstly affects the user's experience. If users can't get satisfactory results, they will reduce their usage, which in turn uh, decreases the learning and training opportunities for AI. At the same time, it also prevents AI from receiving complete feedback on its results. Under these uh, circumstances, artificial intelligence may continue to strive in the wrong direction, make more and more wrong. Some people may think that setting rules at the, the AI algorithmic level to automatically avoid sensitive topics or straightly turn it into a political propagandist that can only generate messages desired by the rulers and act as their spokesman. Is it possible? Maybe not, because it is inherently paradoxical. People obey rules because they know what behaviors are against the rules and the consequences of breaking them. If people don't know what behaviors are against the rules, how can they obey them? The same as artificial intelligence, a true political propagandist must have a profound understanding of politics and a comprehensive grasp of various political theories. So they can construct a narrative framework that effectively promotes their political views. A censored and restricted AI cannot achieve this. At most, it can only serve as a repeater. Keep repeating cliches. Can this really serve the purpose of uh, political propaganda? Therefore, to develop powerful artificial intelligence, a country needs a free environment that encourages diverse viewpoints and ideas. This is my opinion.